It's Ozzy Suffer here at your sim and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the reverse thrust working on the inner builds A330 with the Thrustmaster TC8 Photo Quadrant. If you can see right now, I'm, I've got all the detents working, but I go to reverse and nothing's happening. Now I'm going to show you a quick config to do. We're going to adjust the config file and I'm going to show you where you find that and they're magically going to start working again. So on the 330, we don't have the yellow detent that you do in the 320. The reversers, you normally just lift them up. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to adjust the file. Oh, here, we, here comes trouble. <laughs> what we want to do is going to find the install drive that the sim is on. So we have WP system here, if we got it on the Microsoft Store. Then go to app data, local packages, and then it will be the limitless 8 wiki b 3 d 8 bbwe I'll put it in the description where to go. Then you go to local state. Then you go to WASIM, MSFS 2024, Microsoft Aircraft A330, work, throttle data. Now we want to open the throttle data and you see where it says reverse on axis false. We want to change that to true. Okay. Once we've typed in true, we just press file, save, and close it. Did it save? Yes, it did. Now we go close this, go back to our sim, and we have to restart the sim. <laughs> so we restart the sim and go back and it should work. Let's try it. Right, so once you've restarted the sim after you save that file, we'll go to our throttles here, or I should call them thrust levers. Now we check the detent by lifting up the reverse reverses and then pushing them back. And on the 330, this is how you engage reverse thrust. It doesn't have a back detent. That's a Y body thing. You just lift these up. And there you go. You've got it all working. Uh, if your thrust levers aren't working like this in the correct detents, to calibrate them, you go to the EFP, you go to options, you go to open throttle settings, and then you will set max reverse thrust. You set it on your your um, thrust levers, and then you click set max reverse thrust. And then after you've done that, you will click set idle. Then after that, you'll click set idle, and so on and so forth. And then that should have it all set up. Okay. If you like the tutorial, like and subscribe. I've got a live stream coming up next, and I'll get this along with my FCU and EFIS hardware by Mini Cockpit showcase for you. See ya!